even those who are watching us prepared and said to watch us on the any of the social media father we pray that their desire shall be granted in jesus name that the word that is coming today will be word of all the people in the whole world we call upon you father use me as your instrument use me as your vessel may i never speak like ordinary man but i speak to the holy spirit we give you thanks for today we thank you father lord for all of us we bring glory to you in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit and the whole church say a better amen, amen. and the whole church say a better amen, amen. clap your beautiful hand for jesus if you can make it better it will interest god so much for this extraordinary service today thank you father lord in jesus powerful name we pray child of god if you have done that i want you to sit comfortably sit on your desired seat your personal seat that god has made available for you today sit very tight and never lose focus tell someone never lose focus tell someone never lose focus tell somebody to focus tell, tell somebody tell focus 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 hallelujah amen and amen we have a news about what is going on on our city that we are building in africa nigeria by the grace of god everything is moving very very well since we left there the the ground has been cleared now and um uh, the tippers are bringing so many sand tipping there for we to kick off i thought somebody would clap your hand for jesus christ so we are moving forward we are not waiting for no one. When God is about to do something, he does it. Hallelujah. So this is our time. Hallelujah. Tell some of this our time. The time for God to favor you and me. In Jesus' name. Child of God, I want to tell us something. Can you tell somebody stepping into supernatural blessing? Stepping into supernatural blessing. How many of us want to step into supernatural blessing? How many of you? You are that person. I want you to lift up your hands. I want to see you. Because, listen. You are in this service today is to prepare you. For the rest of the year. God is stepping into what? A supernatural what? Blessings. There is a blessing that is a blessing. But there is one that is what? Supernatural. Hallelujah. Supernatural. A comfortable talk called my topic today. Push, push, push. Tell somebody, push, push, push. He didn't say it. Well. Tell somebody, say, push, 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 push. Say, push, 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 push. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It is very, very important when we talk about supernatural blessing and we know that the supernatural blessing can only be our own when we do what we call trusting in the lord hallelujah i am going to unveil to us the power of trust the power of what trusting in the lord hallelujah do you know child of god that anything you want to be in life is in your hand how many of you believe that? Anything you want to become in this life is what? It's your hand. Open your hand. Show me your hand. Show me your hand. Look at your hand. Look at your hand. So your hand is your destiny. Everything about your life, everything you want to become is your hand. Hallelujah. Of course. It's around you. I could remember some a woman who met Elisha in the second king chapter 4 verse 2 to, 2 to 7. In second king chapter 2 chapter 4 verse 2 to 7.
word of God, I want you to want to make you to understand. There is something that will take you to a, a greater height. That is in your hand. And it's in your house. And it's with you. Hallelujah. Until you discover it, you will still remain in the level where you are. But I see you today changing love in Jesus' name. Amen. Child of God, the Bible said, Elijah said unto her, What shall I do for thee? Tell me that, that what hast thou in thy house? A woman who has nothing to do thought that everything is finished in her life. And when she encountered a man of God called Elijah, he said, what hast thou in the house? And she said, thy handmaid had not, not anything in the house save what the pot of what? Oil. The pot of oil. Hallelujah. Then he said, go and borrow the vessels abroad of all the neighbors, even empty vessels. Borrow not a few. Hallelujah. Borrow not a few. And when thou art come in, thou shalt shut the door upon thee and upon thy sons and shall pour out into all those vessels and thou shalt set aside that which is. So she went from him and shut the door open upon her and upon her sons who brought the vessels to her and she poured out and it came to pass when the vessels were full that she said unto her son bring me here the vessel and he said unto her there is not a vessel more then she came and told the man of God and he said go and sell the oil and pay the debt and leave thou and thy children of the rest. Hallelujah. I come to tell you today that whatever that has kept you not to become who you want to be after today is living in Jesus' name. Amen. There is something inside the tell someone there is something in me. There is something around me. There is something in my house. I see you discovering it today in Jesus' name. Amen. Supernatural blessings can only come into your life when you want to trust God. Now, child of God, my question is this. The woman that you saw did not know what she, that he had about him. They don't know what she has. Until the man of God came to unveil it to her and let her know something is in you, something is in your house. Now do something. Hallelujah. Most of people who are stagnant today is because they did not discover what is around them. They did not know what to do. And that's why where they where they are where they are. Hallelujah. So the key of life is what? To trust in the Lord. Hallelujah. Now my question, how do we receive that supernatural blessing? Look at somebody and look at, look at somebody around you. I say, how do you receive the supernatural blessing? Hallelujah. Do you know the answer? Do you know the answer? It's a question you ask somebody. How do you receive the supernatural blessing? And the answer is what? I have said it two things. And the answer is trust in the Lord. I will show you why. Hallelujah. How many of you are here when we started our service? And there is a message today. Which message we read? Where did we read today in the message? Psalm 37. Beginning from 1 to 10. Now let us go. Let us take only 1 to 3. If you can help me to show it out on the screen, it will bless us. Amen. Amen. Psalm 37. Thank you, Jesus Christ. He said, Fret not thyself because of evil doers, neither be thou envious against workers of iniquity. For they shall soon be cut off, cut down like grasses, and the wheat as the green herbs. 
Now, number three, can we read together randomly? One to go. Trust in the Lord and do good. So shall thou dwell in the land. And verily thou shall what? Thou shall what? Thou shall what? Thou shall what? Be fed. What's the meaning of fed? Exactly. We are talking about fed. That's what they pass. And the word present. That means, that means trust in the Lord. The Lord you need to trust. Irrespective of what you think that is going on. Trust what? In the Lord. Irrespective that you don't have a job. Irrespective that you come new. Irrespective that you are not married. Irrespective of whatever that you can call it. Trust in the Lord. Hallelujah. That means you can never be hungered. So the only thing God is asking you, my children, is what? To what? To do good. He said, do good. Do good. And so shall that dwell in that land. The devil will push you away to do bad. Now you are making mistakes. You are entering into what? Fire. When you deviate from good to do bad. Now you are now in the what? Control of Satan. You have no control because your directive is now Satan. Hallelujah. Are you with me now? And very thou shall what? Be fed. Nobody shall touch you. Hallelujah. Now look at number nine. I love that place. Number nine of that place. The verse nine. Quickly. Amen. Are you with me now? Are you with me? Number nine. Thank you, Jesus. He said, for yet. Okay, let's get it together. One to go. Number nine. No, um. Okay. Is that, what, what was that? Okay, number nine. For evil do I shall be cut off. But those that what? Wait upon the Lord. They. They shall what? They shall what? For those for they that shall what? For evil do I shall be cut off. But those that wait upon the Lord, they shall what inherit the earth. So that means anything that is evil, that's wait. Oh, when are you going back? You know what happened? Their interest is to know when you are going back. Praise God. Oh no. Your mind was not to go back quickly. But they were asking because it is when somebody asks him, when are you going back? That means the person doesn't want you to stay, isn't it? Yeah, when are you going back? means that you are not what? Welcomed. Praise God. Get me back there. Get me back there. Sam. Yeah, Mama Tio, chapter 6, verse 34. He said, therefore, take no thought saying what we shall eat. That's the bothering of people. But let me tell you something. What shall we drink? What shall we with, with us? Shall we be clothed. Now move on. Number 32. Take therefore no thought for the marrow. For tomorrow. Shall what take thought of things of itself. Sufficient unto thee is the evil thereof. Hallelujah. Did you, did you get me 30, 30, 30, 30, uh, 32? Yeah. I, I want to read that you get me 34. Praise God. For after all these things do the Gentiles seek. For your heavenly father knoweth that ye have need of these things. That is their conclusion. Tell somebody this their conclusion. So why do you bother? What to eat? Some people are walking, disturbing their parents, disturbing their life. What am I going to eat today? Which cloth am I going to wear? This and that and that. What is the problem with you? What is the problem with you? The only thing you need to do is what? Yes. He says, seek, but seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things shall what? Be added unto you. Hallelujah. Shall be added unto you. So why do you bother yourself? Why do you bother yourself? God said, take thought. No thought about those things. So uh, why are you disturbed? Sometimes I used to give testimony of my life and my family. And I, I tell people that, yes, I know this is unneeded. 
But that, does, that, that is not the first priority of me. I just need to what? believe and seek God. Because he knows the good that I want. Hallelujah. So the only way not to thought about God is what? To trust. Hallelujah. And that is the highway of your supernatural blessing. That is the highway of your supernatural blessing. Hallelujah. 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 Do you know that there's a lot of people who are given in worship, but who have what? Never enjoyed the blessing of God. They are what give us, but they never what? Enjoy the blessing of God. Why? Because they are not dependent on God for their needs. So they keep what? Suffering. They give what? Suffering. You give. Fine. You do this and that. But you did not trust God. You are still doubting. If God will do it. Hallelujah. Those people depend on something else. But when you depend on God, you don't have any problem. They depend on man. I remember that passage in the Bible. Or the chapter in the Bible, in Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 5. There is something he said there. He said, cause to a man who did what? It has no, I didn't say believe. I say what? Yeah, put it on the screen. Those who never had it. Who just think that the word of God is just because I can guess it. Hallelujah. Word of God is not guessing. It is important that what you know, know it well. So that you can walk with it. Praise God. Say, those, those say the Lord. Who said it? Who said that? Not me. Not anyone. Those say the Lord. Everything that God has said is always manifesting. Those say the Lord. Cause be that man, the man, that trusted in the man. What? Check around the whole world almost. People have been coming to build their trust in a man. Praise God. And they've forgotten that they said cause following it. God is angry. God is a jealous God. When God finds out that he trusts in a man, not in him, he will cause that person. Hallelujah. God wants you to trust him because he's capable and able to provide for you. Hallelujah. And make a flesh his arm. And whose heart depart from the Lord. Hallelujah. Le, 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 give me number six. I think I remember something interesting there. Number six of that place. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are you following me? Yes. For he shall be what? Can we go to together? Want to go? For he shall be like a heat in the desert and shall not see when good cometh, but shall inhabit the patch places in the wilderness in a salt land and not inhabited. That is his what? His what? I mean, he pay back. So, trusting in the Lord is what God desires. Push me anywhere. Throw me anywhere. In one God, I will trust. Hallelujah. In one God, I will trust. In one God, I will trust. Hallelujah. That is a domain of trust. There is no way you will understand the true triumph until what you begin to what trust in the Lord. It's not gimmick. It's not magic. You trust God with everything. Hallelujah. When we used to be in the other place before we came here, at that particular time, some of the members those days thought that it's over. Because the people decided to set that place. And when they sold the place, at that time we have no money to even to look for a better, get another place. And you know in Europe how the people are. When they talk about sponsoring the church, supporting the church, you can see them either they enter another church. Or they say, some of them told me then, ah, 
are we coming here to buy church for you? We came the same thing. Why should we buy church for you? Hallelujah. Praise God. But for me, I was not moved with my family. While they were thinking that we may not have a place, God is what preparing a place. Amen. Amen. Even the other church that was worshiping with us there was surprised when God gave us this beautiful place. Just like that. They were saying, how did you manage? How did you manage? Child of God, the former place was not so far from here. There is other church there. They were there before us. And they used to pass this street every time. But why didn't they see that place? That was the one the man was asking me. Oh, we, we, but we didn't see this place. Hallelujah. How can you see it? It's not what? It's not for you. Hallelujah. It may not have the issue I have. That's why God may not prepare it for you. But God wants to prove those who think that it's over. That is what? It's not over. Praise God. The next morning they saw us clearing the place, doing some they said, how many? Hallelujah. That is the sign of our trust. God will he never put you to shame. The money was too big, but that is not a problem for God. He made it available. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, child of God, it is your knowledge of the mystery of trusting that brings you to the realm of triumphant victory. Hallelujah. To triumph in life is what? Your knowledge. So you must understand deeply the benefit of trusting in God. Hallelujah. As I'm sure I'm talking to somebody today. Hallelujah. I want to rearrange your life. Because after today, God is going to take you to your next level. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I put it, I say, many love him, but very few trust him. Yes, some people can be so easily say, oh, I love God. But do you what? Do you trust him? Do you trust him? Do you trust him? Most you worship him, but very few trust him. Now, let me shock you. In Psalm 125, verse 1 to 3. Psalm 125, verse 1 to 3. Hallelujah. Somebody's changing love in Jesus' name. Somebody's changing love in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Psalm 125, verse 1 to 3. The Bible says, They that trusted the Lord shall what? Are you with me? How many of you want to be like my desire? Hallelujah. Though they that trusted in the Lord shall be like as Mount in Zion, which cannot what be moved, but abided forever. Abided forever. Look, child of God, check very well the, those who trust God. Even in your own eyes as an individual person, you will always think that this person can be moved. This person can, it cannot make it. This person can be stopped in your own understanding. But the Bible says, those that trusted in the Lord shall be like what as mountain Zion. 